else will determine my entire team. We'll go position by position and spin the wheel for each one. Additionally, there are two non-numbered spins. The GOAT is any overall of my choosing, and the trash can is 72 overall or worse. All right, left tackle is a very important position, but if I'm gonna get, oh my God, I'm gonna get a jackpot left tackle. Oh my God. <laughs> no, dude, if you guys saw my Wheel of Coins video, I got crazy good coin counts, but for not the best positions, I hope I'm not gonna use all my luck on my O-line. O-line is really important though, and like I said, left tackle is very nice to have. There is a 96 left tackle, Andrew Thomas. By the way, if that player does not have a card at the overall, I take the next closest and I must go lower. The best left tackle in the game. <laughs> That's a good start. All right, that takes us over to left guard. Our left guard is also gonna be a damn solid overall. Oh my God. We have a monster O-line, 94. So as you can see, there are no 94 left guards and Quentin Nelson is a 95, so I must go down to 93, but it's still gonna be really good. We'll take Roger Saffold. I got two playoffs cards for teams that are no longer in the playoffs. Tough. Okay, so that takes us next to center, who's gonna be our first not so great spin, but an 89 overall can still get the job done. I'm gonna take Nick Mangold. All right, that moves us to right guard. So, so far, our offensive line is very good. Oh my God, I might get a... I knew it wasn't gonna sit. We get a 91 overall, still really good. Could have been a lot worse, but we haven't pulled the goat quite yet. There are no 91 right guards. So looks like we're getting a 90. I'm gonna go 90 overall, Larry Allen. All right, that leaves our final player on the offensive line. A right tackle. Gonna come in right around 90, maybe 89. Something went wrong. Echo, I was not speaking to you. Also, yeah. Echo, I thought I turned you into a male. What was that voice? Thanks for letting me know. What? Ooh, there's no 89 right tackles. It's actually crazy how shallow the pool of players is in this game sometimes. Either way, it's Andrew Wiley or Jack Conklin. I'm gonna take Jack Conklin, only because he went to Michigan State. Yes, yeah, so the right side of our line is a lot weaker than the left side. I guess we'll run to the left side then. Tight ends are one of my favorite positions in this game. I need a good tight end. 94. Yes. Yes. I love tight ends, dude. Unfortunately, I don't have a tight end myself. <laughs> 94 overall tight end. There should be a monster in there, right? There's Dallas Goddard. Tra Ooh, Travis Kelsey's so good. Taysom Hill is amazing. I've used him before. You know, I'm actually gonna go Dallas Goddard because he's the only tight end on here I have not used. Dallas Goddard, he's a little short for tight ends. He's 6'4", but he's got 92 speed. Pretty good run blocking too. Let's get Dallas Goddard. That'll give us a wide receiver next. After our 94 overall tight end, Dallas Goddard, we're gonna get an amazing wide receiver. 95, let's go! Huge. Now, when I did the wheel of coins, I got a shitty quarterback. I don't really, I really hope I don't get a shitty quarterback here. But a 95 wide receiver, we could go Mike Evans, could go KJ Osborne. There's not gonna be a lot more options than that. There is CD Lamb, who I've used before. Dude, Andre Johnson could be amazing. I think I'm gonna go Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson's a guy I don't talk about a lot, and I've never used his card. Let's go 95 overall. Wide receiver one is Andre Johnson. What are your stats? Andre Johnson is six foot three. 93 speed, 95 jump. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, we got a spin for another wide receiver as well. So let's see who we can get. Our other wide receiver is gonna be not as studly as Andre Johnson. We're gonna get a 90 overall for our second wide receiver. There's gotta be a, like a solid budget beast at wide receiver, right? I'm gonna go 90 overall, Brandon Ayuk. He's all right, but I just wanna show Brandon Ayuk some love. Let's go halfback next. This is a big spin, especially with the left side of my line being so strong. We're gonna wanna stud halfback. Yes, at least a 90. Four, at least come on sit 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 yes let's go 94 overall halfback all right that's big that's big all right 94 halfback i'm using somebody i've never used before i think a 94 dalvin cook would be kind of sick he gets one ap human joystick two ap backfield master he's an elusive back he gets two ap backfield master that's really good no matter who our quarterback is they're gonna have backfield master dalvin and tight end apprentice dallas goddard doesn't even matter who my quarterback is all too much i'd still love an insane quarterback though next we're gonna do a fullback okay our fullback. What overall are you coming in at? Don't you dare give me that jackpot for a fullback. I'm gonna cry. It'd actually be kind of sick though. 93 overall fullback. Quack. I straight up don't know who exists. Looks like Jim Taylor is the only option. Well, that decision was made for us, but Jim Taylor is 6 foot 214 with 92 speed and solid blocking stats. He's no Nigerian nightmare though. He's no Nigerian nightmare though. All right, that leaves the most important position on offense, the quarterback. All right, gentlemen, our quarterback is coming in at... Yes! Oh my god, I thought I was gonna get trashed! 96 overall!
We didn't get the goat or the trash can, but we got tons of really good spins. A 96 overall quarterback. I could use the John Elway. John Elway has been the best quarterback in the game for forever. I've never used him. I think I kind of know what I'm going to do, though. Denard is not that great. Steve Young is probably okay. Oh my God, there's a 96 Danny. There's a 96 white chocolate. There's a 96 Danny Dimes. When did this come out? 65, 93 speed. Oh my God. I was going to go big trust Lamar, but I'm obviously going white chocolate Danny Dimes. 96. Wait, this team is fucking insane. I got a trash can, 87, 88, 80. I'm not getting any of those. Let's go. My offense is cracked. Let's go look at our offense before we take a peek at defense. Got a 96, 93, 89, 90, and 88. You know what? I actually used all my bad spins on center right guard right tackle, which is fine by me. Got 94 Dallas Goddard at tight end. Got 95 Andre Johnson and 90 Brandon Ayuk at wide receivers. Got 96 Danny Dimes, 94 Dalvin Cook, 93 Jim Taylor. So our backfield like really clutched up. As it stands, we've got two X factors out of three and 10 out of 12, which saves two for Dallas Goddard. Okay, so he could get tight end apprentice for two AP, but that means he won't get deep out elite and he won't get short in elite. And both of those are really important abilities. I'm gonna give him tight end apprentice. And if I get absolutely clamped by man coverage, then I'll know why. And then double me for our third and final X factor and offense is ready to go. And that means it's time for some defense. Let's start with our free safety. All right, free safety up high, patrol in the skies. Oh shit, oh shit, no, not right now. 87, stay, stay. <laughs> I almost can't think of a worse position. I think the only worse position for me to get this is quarterback. All right, so I have to go with a 72 overall or lower. Indianapolis Colts, Nick Cross. So bummy that he does not have card art on this card. Although I'm pretty sure he's gotten more cards throughout the year. It's that or it hasn't loaded, but this is our fucking free safety. And if you want a better sex life in 2023, then Roman is here to help. And they're the sponsor of today's video. Roman addresses a variety of sexual health needs for men. There are, of course, the Roman swipes, which I have right here. These are discreet wipes that help you last four times longer in bed, no prescription needed at all. And I've talked about these for a long time, but that's not all that Roman does. They also offer prescription medication to help with erectile dysfunction, ED, and they can help treat low testosterone, which can help revive your sex drive. And better yet, with Roman, everything is online. No waiting rooms or trips to the pharmacy. So to learn more about how you can achieve your personal sexual health goals, use my link in the description or go to ro.co forward slash MMG to get 20% off your entire first order. That's ro.co slash MMG for 20% off your order. Links in the description. And enjoy the rest of the video. And you know what? We just hit rock bottom. So it's only up from here. Our strong safety is going to be at least a 95. A 95 overall. Oh my God. Wait, is Bo a free safety or a strong safety? And is he 95 or 96? Oh, let's go. Let's fucking go. This bow is so gross. Let's go. One of my favorite cards that I've never used. And as you guys know, a lot of the videos I make are Wheel of Mutt. I can't choose who I use in Wheel of Mutt. So this is exciting. Limited 95 overall strong safety Bo Jackson. 97 hit power, 95 speed, 94 excel, he's 6'1". His change of direction is spectacular at 95. You would really have to do some convincing to, to prove to me that this is not the best strong safety in the game. That is the best strong safety in the game. I'll grab two corners. Our first corner is going to be a 90 fucking 6. Yes. Yes, let's go. We got the worst case scenario free safety. Hopefully that weakness can be masked by my other amazing secondary players because so far we've got two monsters. I think my favorite 96 corner is champ bailey every time i use champ bailey cards they're so good sometimes it feels like cards outperform their stats for whatever reason i mean his stats are still incredible he's a 96 speed 96 excel corner i don't know he just plays a lot bigger than six foot i'm gonna go with 96 overall champ bailey all right that takes us to cornerback number two who's not gonna come in nearly as hot as the rest of them at a 90 90 overall corner probably just gonna want the fastest and tallest bro 90 overall actually for corners is pretty damn good because eric Stokes is amazing. 6'1", 93 speed, 92 excel. His play rec's kind of dog water, but whatever. This was a very high-end corner when he came out. We're gonna hang on to 90 Eric Stokes. That's huge. Next, we move to the middle linebacker. Now, the middle linebacker probably won't be my user since Bo is so good, but there are certain formations where Bo cannot be my 
user. So I would really like at least a 92 plus. Looks like we're gonna go 93. Okay, okay. There's an obvious choice here. The obvious choice is Isaiah Simmons. For anyone who's new to my channel, I'm really sorry, but I use Isaiah Simmons all the time. I've used him in Wheel of Mud so much because he's a fucking god. So I'm not gonna go Isaiah Simmons. This video is a perfect opportunity for me to try out players that me and hopefully you have never seen. Foyasada Luakon? There's a Foyasada Luakon? Oh my god, if you guys have been watching me for years plus, you know that Foyasada Luakon is one of the goats of Wheel of Mutt, bro, from like Wheel of Mutt 2019 or something. 6'2, 215, 92 speed, 92 hit power. Savage. 100%. Foyasada Luakon! Let's do a right outside linebacker. I oh, know, no, 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 no. Yes. No, keep going, keep going. 96. Keep going. It's almost a nightmare. I almost was gonna have a free safety and a right outside linebacker. Be absolute uh -huh. dog shit. All right, let's go. I, I I purposefully put it next to 96. 96 overall, right outside linebacker. There's only two options. That's Derek Brooks and Josh Allen. Low key, Derek Brooks is 1.5 mil, which is ridiculous. But I think I was gonna take Josh Allen anyway. This yes, is the uh, the better Josh Allen, the athletic Josh Allen. 6'5", 262, 94 speed, 94 block shed. He's definitely getting abilities. I'm definitely gonna give Josh Allen. Probably, he probably gets a discounted edge threat or edge threat elite. So we're just going to send him off the edge every single time. All right, that takes us to our left outside linebacker. On the opposite side of Josh Allen will be an 89 overall. Not so great, but that's okay. He'll hold the waters. Yeah, we're going to go Seahawks. I think he's a rookie. Is Uchenna Wosu a rookie or is he a second year? Either way, he played great for the Seahawks this year. Let's grab ourselves a left end. Hopefully, we get a good left end. Oh, no. I'll, okay, I'll just take 87. I'll take 87. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Damn. Left side of my defense. Pretty ugly. I'm gonna have Uchenna and Wosu, and then I'm also gonna have an 87 overall left end. Yikes. 87 on paper sounds really good, but this late in the season, it's actually so bad. Uh, I'm gonna go Eric Armstead. Kind of thought he was a D tackle. I suppose he's a left end. I don't know ball, guys. I don't know ball. All right, let's get a right end. So this is going to be who's pairing on the side of Josh Allen. Are you kidding me? I've gotten the trash can twice. I haven't gotten the goat a single time. And you know what? I want Wyatt Hubert. Because with a face and a picture like that, I want you on my motherfucking squad, baby. Woo! That leaves a D tackle. And we're pretty much done with defense. Other than I got to get myself some special teams. But our D tackle is going to be a 90 overall. Normally, I'd be sad about a 90 overall. But to me, all a D tackle needs is the ability inside stuff. So if I can get a 90 overall D tackle who gets inside stuff, I'm, I literally don't care. I, I straight up have never heard of this guy in my entire life. Ty no. McGill Jr. No clue who he is. No clue what he does. That's my D tackle. All right, the final spin is for our kicker. I swear if I get the goat, I'm going to actually be pissed. I'm really going to get a 96 overall kicker. Sometimes I forget that I was a kicker and that kicker are people too. Is there even a 96 overall kicker? I highly doubt it. Okay, so I got to go to the next closest. I think would be 94 all Madden Justin Tucker, presumably. 94 all Madden Justin Tucker. Well, in fairness, this is the best kicker in the game. I doubt that comes into play, but dude, you can hit some bombs in online head-to-head -head when you've got this savage right here, Justin Tucker, all Madden. What are his stats. Probably not 99 yet. 95 kick power, 91 kick accuracy. Monster. All right, so here is defense. Certainly not as imposing as offense, but still we've got some monsters who hopefully should make up for it. Number one, Bo Jackson, the strong safety. Wow, that's gonna be so good. I can't wait to use him. We got Josh Allen, who's gonna be insane off the edge with, of course, the GOAT. What? Hubert? Everything else is kind of mid. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Chip Bailey should lock up, but we got Nick Cross up there. Ain't no good. Eric Stokes should be okay. I think he can hold his own. D-line is mid. Other line back are okay. Foyasad's damn good. It's gonna be weird. Oh, we got Unstoppable Force Josh Allen with Double or Nothing Edge Threat Elite. Champ with Pick Artist Deep Out Zone KO. Bo with Acrobat Deep Out. Foyasad with Crusher and Lurker. Ty McGill. T.Y. McGill. I don't fucking know. With inside stuff. We are seriously lopsided. A 92 offense and 87 defense. But our team is officially ready to go. 12 of 12 on offense. 12 of 12 on defense. I almost forgot to give Justin Tucker abilities. One final thing. I'm gonna give him Zen Kicker for a slower meter over 45 yards. And I'll get Precision Kicker to get full vision of the kicking arc. A classic Madden Top 3. Oh, I get to see mine. Oh, <laughs> shit. I hit the... No. <laughs> I had Danny Times up there, bro. I had Danny Times, Josh Allen. I don't even know who's in the middle. Oh, I just ruined my day. Idiot. If he doesn't rage quit, if he doesn't rage quit. Oh, geez. He's got a squad. He's got that Keith Byers, bro. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If he doesn't rage quit, four touchdowns, Danny Dimes. Calling it.
He's got Bledsoe. Nigerian Nightmare. Dude, he's literally gonna run the ball every play. I lied. It was a prank, you guys. It was a prank. You ever heard of a prank? Buddy is chewing clock in literally the first quarter. Madden Online, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Mr. Aluakon. Let's get a cheeky lyric over the middle. Ooh, he's testing me. Oh, I could consider me tested. All right, I failed the test. Holy shit. I was a little worried about Eric Stokes, and he went up and got mossed. Now, honestly, not much Eric Stokes can do there. I'm not too mad at Eric Stokes on that one. Oh, Alua Khan! No way. Oh, what a hell of a play. This guy's a savage. Ooh, okay. I kind of like this. Ooh. Eight to zero. All right, Danny Dimes, you got to respond, man. Was that man coverage? I really can't tell what that was. That was a hell of a ball from, from Daniel Dimes. I think that was cover two. I'm going to run it to the left side. Our left side is so strong. That's got to be there. Mm -hmm. Yup, way to fake it. And look who's wide open. Dallas Goddard got hit pretty hard. Like I said, he's not the biggest tight end. Let's go. Let's go power football for three yards. Let's go. I honestly don't know how Dalvin got through that, but we take those. Dalvin is barely open. Taken down quickly. Those were not my best play calls. Oh, he's there. Ooh, what a catch. Dallas Goddard. We are facing tough man coverage, though. We know he's going over Storm Brave, but those blocks are too pretty. Wow, that was beautiful. Second and two. I think this is just a straight handoff. Ooh, Dalvin. Go, Dalvin. Give me those blocks. Oh, I might have been able to read that a little better, but we're down to the six. I think he run commits here. Are you there? What a throw. Danny Dimes, you psycho. Oh, that was an insane throw. Down to the one. Punch us in. Elvin Cook. I don't know how I got that, but I did. Let's go for two. He went for two. I got to go for two. I'm going to hit LaVisca Chenault. That was actually too easy. I can't believe that worked. LaVisca Chenault was like my base wide receiver since I didn't get a wide receiver three. So Josh Allen off the edge. Aluakon hover in the middle. Just kind of, you know, be a dick. Oh, it's a, it's a screen. It's a screen. It's a screen. Oh, I'm there. I slowed him down a little bit, I guess. No. What was... What is this? That was stupid. It is what it is. First and 10. Let's see what he goes with. Good defense. Good defense. He went five wide. I went man. I'm not sure what this play is. Halfback. Tight end. Oh, I'm there. Oh, he did go halfback. Wow, I didn't expect it. That Keith Byers is a savage. That Keith Byers is a savage. Goes with an escape route to Megatron. Second and three. Clock's ticking. I've got three timeouts. I think he wants to score with no time left, presumably. Oh, oh, you're kidding. Somebody reached their arms up and it went straight through their arms. That was really unfortunate. I'm not going to call any timeouts. We'll see if we can get a stop on him here. All right, we are run committing everybody. Stuffed. Eight seconds. He hasn't called a timeout. Is he just going to take a field goal? What's he going to do here? Does he not realize how much time? <laughs> Let's go! Dude, guy is just higher than shit. Just took the fattest rip out of the bong, and he's got no clue where he is. That's massive. That is a massive mix-up. Dude, he might not have even been intentionally chewing clock. I think he literally just never looked. I am no longer mad at my opponent. Dude, that could be the difference in this game. If he could have called a timeout, set up a couple good plays, and scored, and he could have done a lot of different things. We'll just go Dalvin here, take the slowest spin in the world, and, and get four yards out of it. He's sitting on the QB every time, but look at these blocks, man. Oh, my God, Dalvin! Damn it, his whole team is so fast. Nice run, Dalvin. He sort of is. That Champ Bailey kind of scares me. We're going to block Howard. I'm going to put Goddard. Put Johnson. Ayuk. I'm going to build an interesting play here. I'm going up to him. Fuck it. Let's go, Goddard. Let's go. Right at the user's face. All right, hit the play action. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa. How am I up? How did I not get sacked? There was a DB in my face. Well, inside zone for the boy. Follow your blockers, Dalvin. Spin. Down to the 13. Let's get it. Good inside zone. But we missed the block on the linebacker. That is a bummer. I'm just gonna run the ball again. If LaVisca Chenault gets this block on Nitschke, we're money here. Never mind. Let's bring out Justin Tucker. Fourth and six. A little bottle up there, but you know, we got a 94 overall kicker. So I feel pretty confident we can hit this. We can hit it. 11 to eight. Dude, that's the difference of him not scoring before half. That's a massive mistake. He's gonna go playmaker. Oh, 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 Bo Jackson. Dude, even if he caught that, it was gonna be a flag because he stepped out of bounds. That's ball game, damn near. If I score a touchdown, that is ball game. All right, we're blocking Howard. I'm sending Dalvin Cook out. He's running DB Fire 2. There's Dalvin. Easy. Easy. No. No. I hate you, bro. So dumb. Nobody ever plays their games. I should have scored before half. I don't know what to say. 
All right, boys. This was the wheel of overalls. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything you really want to see, let me know in the comments. I always appreciate you guys' help. Your combined brain power is greater than my one brain. Love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.